Cancer friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to be doing your January 2019 monthly general reading. Hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Hope you all have a beautiful, happy New Year. I cannot believe we're here already. But we are. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And Cancer, please keep in mind, it's a general reading. It is not going to resonate for all of you. I'm reading for a lot of you. It's impossible for it to resonate for every single one of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely feel free to watch your other signs I'm using Mystic Dreamer for you guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, January 2019. Spirit. Cancer, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. If you like a quick question, answer quickly. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday for a weekly general reading for each sign. Love to have you guys follow me there. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. My Cancer friends, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. January 2019. Cancer. Alright guys, your cards feel really good. reversed. Awesome. It's your central issue. Your foundation is four cups reversed. This has been out a few times and I've been going back and forth between decks. Recent past. Beautiful. Ten of cups. Crowning you. Eight of wands reversed. Moving forward. Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Okay. This looks really good. And I do want to start here with your foundation. There's definitely... There, there's definitely delays with the Eight of Wands. Let, let, let me start here with the Eight of Wands. You know, delays with communication, travel plans, like just delays of all kinds. Communication of any kind could have ended. Like with a friend, a partnership, a family member, but it's just delayed. Because with the Ten of Cups, I feel like this does affect your family, your emotional life. You know, this could be like your boss, your marriage, relationship. If you're single, it could just be your home life. But this card is about, you know, emotionally being very happy content but there is delays with moving forward your current situation with the ten of wands reversed is amazing you know i see this as an ending to carrying a bunch of crap burdens Things that you can't control or things that are weighing you down. You know, like problems, family issues, communication issues. There's an ending to all that. It's just completely stopping. You know, whatever isn't working for you, 
you're dumping it and moving forward. You know, with the Four of Cups being in reverse, you're coming out of boredom, apathy. Feeling emotionally just blah. You know, when the Wheel of Fortune is the wheel turning in your favor, you know, beautiful blessed karmic energy here. Good fortune, good things coming your way. Anything that you put out there is coming back to you in tenfold. Some of you are looking to move in together. Slight delay. Everything is just delayed this month. Toward the, you know, toward the end of January, beginning of February, uh, things look spectacular for you. With the exception of maybe a job, I feel like, you know, the job stuff, I really feel like some of you are trying to move or you're waiting on a raise, a big promotion, and I feel like this is... You know, something that you've put your heart and soul into and you're just waiting to hear back. This is a divine timing card. You know, so I feel like for a lot of you, it's like now or never. Or within the next 10 weeks. Fortune is absolutely on your side, Cancer. Like good things are definitely coming your way. Let's clarify it. We all the year. We're going to start with the Ten of Cups. Everything is just, everything is on divine timing. That's definitely, and you have three completion cards, you know, definitely, definitely moving forward. That actually just feels good. Page of Swords reversed, delays, three of wands. One more. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Definitely more delays with communication. Like you can't plan for the future with the Three of Wands reversed. Like you could be waiting on an earth sign or a co-worker from work. An earth sign could be very important to you. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're waiting on stuff. There is communication issues on the home front for some of you. Let's look at your Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that feels good. Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Something's definitely coming back around. Temperance. Patience. Some of you, like your childhood, your past could possibly come back through the internet in some way. The Eight of Wands does denote the internet, right? So if it's work, like some of you applied online for stuff, but it's all about patience. Someone from your past
Someone from your past could actually hook you up on a blind date, cap or Cancer. If it's on the job front, I think you already absolutely, you already handled, like, handed in your resume, your papers with these people, or you have already interviewed. You know, the Four of Cups in Reverse is saying that you will accept an offer, you will be open and available to things. Lots of options if you're single and looking for love. There is absolutely an earth sign coming in. This person is definitely very grounded, stable, secure, usually well off financially. And they really could be the one. But again, you know, it is all about waiting, being patient. But it's definitely coming. And you, you have two divine spiritual energies here. Divine timing, and this being your guardian angel, your spirit guides, guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on, but this definitely looks like divine timing. I am going to look at your Ten of Wands. Oh. Okay, wow, I can't believe that all three of these cards flipped up. Look at this. The a look at what I pulled for you guys. The the fool. Notice the angels on both of these cards. And you have her here. You oh, you guys are definitely on definitely without a, a doubt being spiritually and divinely guided and dealing with some divine timing. Definitely. Wow, what a beautiful combination, though. Absolutely beautiful. For some of you, it's definitely new love. Others of you, it's a new job, starting your own business. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I absolutely love it. The second you release your burdens, problems, the shit that's not your responsibility, Cancer... This is what's happening. And for some of you, it literally is taking a leap of faith and just going for it. For some of you, it could absolutely be both. A new love, new career, moving to a new home. Pick one. It's absolutely amazing. And not only that, you already have the Wheel of Fortune here. And in this particular deck, Wheel of the Year, I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. You also have the Wheel here too. In this card. So you're definitely dealing with divine timing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing, Cancer. Really. Moonology, Oracle cards. I can't wait to see what comes out for you guys with this. Additional guidance, clarification. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun, Cancer. What a great reading. Very quick. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And that is on January 5th, my friends. Wow. January 5th. Yep. Guys, leave your comments on this. Let me know how this turns out for you. Because this really is positively amazing. Amazing Cancer. Absolutely love you guys. Again, Happy New Year. Really, looks really great for the month. Really, really great. Once you, as soon as you let go of your the burdens and the bullshit that's just not yours. Love you guys. I will see you back here soon. Take care.